What's up, everybody? My name is Lehula, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehula Superfina. Today, we are reviewing how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 3. And it was a good episode. Like, I feel that this series has been making better and better episodes as the series goes. This episode was sort of like a world building kind of thing. And I say that because this is where the talents that Selma was recruiting on the last episode came in. And they're sort of like from all over. We have Aisha, who's a dark elf. We have Juna, who's a descendant of Lorele, which are like sirens. We have Pancho from like a regular village, but he's a <laughs> like a hoodie. Then we have Hakya, who seems like he's from like a eastern area. And when I say eastern, I mean like Asia eastern kind of thing. Then we have Tomoe, who's from the northern area. So Juna, we can tell she's from like the sea harbor kind of thing. I think so. I think she is because of her siren lineage, her ancestors. So I'm assuming she is from somewhere near the shore, the ocean, the sea. You know what I mean. And then we have Pancho, who seems like he's from more inland. And we have Aisha, who's from the forest. She's a dark elf. Her people protect a forest, a divine forest. So we got people from all over this area, all over this nation. This episode pretty much focused on these different talents. And it seems like we're gonna learn more about them throughout the series, which I really like because they're all very unique. We have the usuals. We have people who are more uh, specialized in fighting, more on intelligence, more on support, etc., etc. So the first one that we see is Aisha. She's a dark elf. Her specialization is military. And she asks for her reward. I was under the impression that everybody was going to get the same reward, which were the things that he listed on the last episode but she actually said that she wanted to request a reward and her request was to help with her force because it's been thinning and so I was asking like are you properly doing it and she's like what do you mean properly doing it and he's explaining what needs to be factored in what needs to be uh, considered when you're cutting down trees for lumber and such and she was like what we need to consider these things oh my gosh can you teach us this thinning technique that you were talking about and he's like oh i thought everybody knew this but yeah i can help you <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> and my reaction to that was well that was easy that's an easy one all you have to do is teach your people how to properly thin the forest okay then we have poncho and poncho's one he didn't even have time to ask for a reward because he was praised so much. He was so nervous. He was nervous from the beginning. And we have this other character named Hakia. He's like, oh, why are you nervous? Um, what do you specialize in? And they cut off when Pancho explained what he was talented in. And then they like showed Hakia's face. He's like, hmm. So we knew that Pancho had a important talent one that was going to be revealed it needed a grand reveal we knew that if they're going to be secretive like that in the beginning mm -hmm. so he reveals well he doesn't reveal it was the um minister or magistrate the other elf dude that's next to soma when he's up there sitting at his throne he says that poncho's talent is food <laughs> uh, his talent is eating and he travels all over looking for different types of food ingredients 
rarities, etc, etc. And Soma was like, I have been waiting for you. This is the exact talent we need. I need, I, I'm going to have you do this, 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 and this. Like he has grand plans for Pancho. And as soon as I heard that Pancho's talent was eating, I was like, <gasps> food! And Pancho has traveled all over the world looking for different ingredients and stuff, rarities and such. That means he can find something that no one else has, that no one else is mass producing, uh, has not been commercialized, bring it to this nation and this nation can specialize in it and they can export it, which will create revenue and help with the economy. Yay! Other than that, Super excited for Poncho. Yes, Poncho! Then we have Juna. Juna is a songstress. She's beautiful. She sings wonderfully. She's the best of the best. And she is a descendant of these creatures called Loreleys, which are like sirens. And I'm not too sure how her talent is going to be used. But when Soma asked her to, I guess display uh, give a sample an example of her talent uh, he asked her to sing something that will energize because this whole thing was being broadcast throughout the whole nation so he asked her to sing something that's energizing she's like oh I don't know any because most of the songs from my ancestors are like melancholy like sad they're sad <laughs> so Soma actually uses his phone he still had his phone and he has her listening listen to one of the songs from his home which is very interesting because the beginning of this episode he was talking about language he was talking about how he can understand the language of this world and fortunately this whole nation speaks one language but he finds it interesting that he can speak right here both languages and when he hears the language of this world, it gets translated in his mind and he's able to like write it out in that language. And then he's like looking at his phone and he actually recorded the language of this world and it couldn't identify it. It identified as something foreign, very, very, very foreign. So when he meets Juna, he actually uses this very same phone to have her listen to a song that he had on the phone. And she heard it. She doesn't know the language, but because of her singing abilities, she can sing anything. She can hear it and she can replicate it. Unfortunately, if this was a Japanese song, she said it was phonetic. So she can memorize or remember it because it's phonetics and such. And phonetics is uh, the sound of a language. For example, <clears throat> It is how you hear it. <laughs> it's not like, for example, knight, like a knight in shining armor. There's a K in there, but the K is silent. Phonetic would be you could hear the K and you would say the K. That's what phonetic means. If you guys have a better explanation of what phonetics is, please put them in the comments. Let everybody know the proper explanation. Anyways, back to the anime. Juna could replicate it. She sang it. It energized everyone. And this made me think about idols. And I'm wondering if Juna is going to be used to unite the people of this nation through her songs. Because I think music could be used like propaganda. I think. Giving people a sense of unity or giving people a sense of emotion just from hearing the music and such. So I'm anticipating how her talent will be used. If you guys have any theories or predictions of how her talents will be used, leave them in the comments. The next person is Hakia. He specializes in intellect. He's very smart. He can memorize anything he reads. He's read almost everything he could get his hands on. And he was actually volunteered. Everybody else came after hearing the recruitment. He was actually volunteered by a relative. The relative was like, well, 
You might as well use your talents for something. You should use it to benefit the nation. So he came and he actually was sizing up Soma to see if he was worthy of his talent. <laughs> so Takuya started out that he's reward he wants to be able to have access to the library which has a abundance of information things that he couldn't have access to because the only people who can have access to it are the king and librarians and such etc etc and then he follows that with oh but i changed my mind i want something else and someone's like you changed your mind why did you change your mind and hakuya confesses that he was testing Soma and sizing him up and Soma's like well how are you going to test me <laughs> and Hakia said well I wanted to see how are you are going to utilize Poncho's talent so Hakia knew that the kingdom really needed assistance really needed to focus on the food and we know why we've been talking about it like for well, the last episode this episode the previous episode food shortage <laughs> and money two things that we need help with in this nation and as soon as Hakia heard Pancho's talent remember we talked about how they kind of cut off when Pancho was explaining his talent to Hakia as soon as he heard it he knew this talent was needed Pancho's talent was very very important for this nation so he was going to test Soma to see if Soma was going to use it or not. And Soma passed. He's like, I need your talent. We're going to use it. And that got Hakuya. Hakuya's like, I will serve you. Please use my intelligence. I can be of great help. And Soma's like, oh, you think you can be of great help? You, you think you can be of use to me? Well, okay, fine. Let me assess your talent. And I'm thinking that Soma was being kind of petty because Hakuya said that he was sizing him up. <laughs> I'm thinking that Soma's like, well, I'm gonna like size you up too. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Last person that was amongst the talented people, the gifted people, is Tomoe. She's the girl that we saw on the last episode that looked like she was a refugee. She's like a beast person. And her talent is being able to understand animals. And it's interesting how they said birds and beasts. I am wondering if that's going to be very significant. Soma said he wasn't too sure how he was going to use it. And I was surprised by that because I'm thinking, I thought Soma knew everything. I thought Soma had a plan for anything that came to him. But this was the first one he was unsure about. And Tomoe was like, kind of wanting to say something to him she's like um uh excuse me i need to tell you something she's kind of like that she was being very very shy and she seemed very unsure how or what to say if it was okay to say it and she was being super quiet about it and it's almost like you need to speak louder so i can hear you and she was having she was still having difficulty so Soma walked up to her and she whispers it to his ear and he had a reaction and that was the end of the episode yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking that she gathers some intelligence through the animals and they told her that something was going to happen. I think the nation, the kingdom is going to be in danger. And she just told Soma what's going to happen. That was the end of the episode. Now there's like two things I want to talk about. One is the princess. I believe her name is Lysia. I have a hard time saying her name. Her name is very unique and I'm I'm unsure of how to pronounce the vowels. <laughs> but besides that, she wants to keep Soma in this world and she's going to pursue being his fiance to keep him in this world. I'm like, yeah, you go girl. You go keep that man. Yes. And she does know that he's important he's vital to this kingdom and i'm thinking she's being considerate of the future because soma was saying that he wants to just be there for a few years and once everything's settled he'll give back the kingdom i think that the princess wants to keep in the kingdom and let the kingdom flourish longer 
and I'm thinking, you go, girl. You think about the future because I know you used to just think about the moment. I'm very proud of her. I'm liking this subtle development in her and this subtle development in this romance. I'm liking that she's going to pursue it. I'm liking that she knows what she wants and she's going to like go for it. Yeah, you go, girl. You go for that. Next thing I want to talk about is they did a flash of the future when they were talking about Hakia. They said that Hakia was going to be someone's right hand man. He's going to be the prime minister. It was really cool. And they showed Soma in his garb, his uniform, whatever it is, whatever, however he's going to be dressed. It looks so good. And I'm thinking Soma's going to be here longer than three years or Hakia is going to be the prime minister a lot sooner than we think. So I'm thinking we're going to see this little flash of the future sometime in this season. I'm really hoping we're going to see it. I'm excited for that. And that's my review of how a realist hero rebuilds the kingdom episode three. If you've seen the episode or you only heard about the episode through this review, what do you think about it? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People watch these videos. Do you like to stop by the stream and have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation? You guys are more than welcome. And outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, Link to the podcast is in the description or available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is a Super Fina channel reviewing how a realist here rebuilt the kingdom episode 3. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Later. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Super Fina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video and i do stream live on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays hope to see you guys there and i will see you on the next video this bump